All right, in this video, we're going to uh, look at example one, part A in section uh, 10.2. We're looking at the volume of prisms and cylinders. So we can see in our picture here um, that we have a prism, but it's important that you recognize what the bases are because the base won't always be on the bottom and the top. In this case, the bases are these trapezoids. Remember, in a prism, the bases are parallel and congruent. Okay, so this prism happens to be turned, it looks like, on its top. So at first look, you might think that this rectangle on the bottom is the base, and this rectangle on the top is another base, but they're not because, again, for a prism, the bases have to be parallel and congruent. So the bases, bases for this prism are the trapezoids. Okay, so we know that the volume of a prism is area of the base times the height. And since the bases are a prism, the B here is going to be the formula for the area of a trapezoid. So that's going to be B1 plus B2 divided by 2 times little h. So this is different. So let's go ahead and substitute that in. So this volume is going to be B1 plus B2 divided by 2 times little h big H. So this capital H is the whole height of the prism. Let's go ahead and start substituting in values. So in the trapezoid, the two bases are 3 centimeters and 8 centimeters. That's B1 and B2. There should be a little 2 down there. So I've got 3 plus 8 divided by 2. And then the height of that trapezoid is 4.3 so times 4.3 and then the whole height of the prism that's the distance between the two bases so the yellow base and the blue base that distance is 10 so that's going to be times 10 all right so if we uh, multiply all this out, let's see, that's going to be um, 11 divided by 2. So that's 5.5 times 4.3 times 10. And if I did my calculations correctly, we should get 236.5. And my units is centimeters, so that would be centimeters cubed. So if I had little cubes that were one centimeter on each side, I could fit 236.5 of these inside of there. All right, so if you need to rewatch, um, if you missed something, I strongly recommend you do that. If you have questions, uh, make sure you ask, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.